Hi guys and welcome to this series, WordPress Creative Tips. I'm Axel Mulat. This week, I'll be showing you how to add a basic email subscription to your WordPress self-hosted site. If you don't know how to create a website or blog using WordPress, just watch my free course here in my YouTube channel titled WordPress Tutorial for Beginners. And before we get started, subscribe to this YouTube channel to get updates every Tuesday. I release a new video every Tuesday, every week, so subscribe to this YouTube channel to get updates. And we'll be using the basic email subscription, the feedburner.google.com. Go to this URL if this is your first time in Google Feedburner. You will not redirect on this page, but the process is still the same. The first instruction is type your blog or feed address on this field. Go to your WordPress self-hosted site and get the feed URL. Just type your site URL and the feed. And this is the feed XML on your site. Copy the URL and paste the feed URL and click next and this step this is your site title and the feed address and this is your site title too this is fine guys click next and this is your feed URL let's try to access this in the browser and it works let's back to the step click next click next and this is ready to go go to publicize and we'll be grab the HTML email form go to this email subscription click this activate first and this is the email form we will be paste this later to your WordPress site but first, we'll be click this, we'll be config this first. I will change the time zone to this time zone because this time zone has a lot of my visitors on my site. This is India. If you have a lot of visitors in your own country, just choose your time zone here. And I'll be changed the delivery time mostly p.m. Most email reader is p.m. 7 to 9 p.m. is fine. Click save. And we'll be go to email branding. In this field, email subject title, we'll be add a post title here. So we'll be copy the dynamic value of the post title. Copy from the hot tip, copy, paste, and add a hyphen like that. And we'll be add a logo on your blog site. And the logo not more than larger, 200 pixel by 200 pixel. I already have a logo. The size is for the feed only, 200 by 1 and 4 pixel. We'll be add this to my WordPress, add new, and drag the logo. This is for feed, guys. Click edit. Copy the URL of your logo, back to feed, paste the logo, and that's it. This is the post feeds look like. And we'll be change the body font Arial the color is 444 copy the body color and we'll be change this to 14 that's fine and this is fine on this section save and we'll be go to this section in this section guys communication Preferences, this is fine, your email, address, and a confirmation email. 
if you have a new subscriber they need to confirm the email if the email is true or not and this is the dynamic value of the confirm email link okay let's go to optimize before the form and go to summary burner and click this activate and I'll be paste a text here guys blog content summary only click the blog title to read more and save again and that's all for this section and we'll be go to smart feed and click this activate and browser friendly also activate save okay we'll be go to form now go to email subscription and grab this form this code this is HTML Control A in your keyboard, copy. We will be customize this HTML form in the editor. You can use your own favorite editor if you want, but I use Notepad++ on this video. If you want to use this, go to this website, download and install. Okay, I have in my computer, paste the HTML form and in notepad plus plus to look nice on this code go to language h h and html and we'll be arrange this just follow me guys follow me we'll be find the p tag hit enter and opening p tag hit enter opening input tag enter 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 opening p tag and close form tag and we'll be hit tab tab okay we'll be customize this first i will be remove this css style in the form attribute remove and we'll be remove this this delivered by and I'll be change this to email only like that and and I want to change the value of this submit from subscribe to yes I want to get it and I want to change the style in this input field so I'll be remove this and add my own style add just I replace the width to 100% and add a margin bottom to 5 pixel and I will remove this p tag guys because this is not necessary in, on my site remove this p tag okay and I guess this is it one additional is a text here no spam guarantee this is my custom text and this is ready to go Control a copy and back to your wordpress admin go to appearance widgets let's back to the site we'll be at the form here under this buttons here go to widgets and let's find the new update widget of wordpress the html Control f in your keyboard and this is the custom html widget drag 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 to the main sidebar paste the custom html this is the new update on wordpress paste the form and I add a text here and this is the text join our list to get updates it's free and hit save and let's reload now and this is the email subscription form pretty simple let's try now try and click this 
and I believe guys this is working so we will close this if you have a new updates on your posts the subscriber will be automatically receive a new update on your posts and the email newsletter will be look like this the post title the logo and the feed summary this is the feed summary we configured in the feed burner blog content summary only click title to read more and this is the basic of email subscription now guys if you have a question in this video kindly fill in the comment box section and i'll be response as soon as i can i know guys this video is very helpful to you please like and share to support on this channel and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get updates every tuesday see you next week guys once again my name is axel mulat bye for now